hi everybody continuing with the uh, other lower organism that is paramecium in the previous slide we have studied about amoeba amoeba is very important for your exam point of view also the definition of pseudopodia the definition of phagocytosis is very important the diagrammatic representation that how did amoeba engulf the food by forming pseudopodia food vacuole contractile vacuole the whole process will come as a long question mostly so please prepare nutrition in amoeba well before starting with paramecium i will just take a quick revision of what we had done in nutrition in amoeba so amoeba was a unicellular organism which had pseudopodia coming out from its any part of the surface by and could lead to change of its shape uh, what was those pseudopodia those pseudopodia were temporary finger like projection which would come out wherever they could see food secondly what was the food of amoeba we studied that amoeba was a holozoic animal and holozoic animals mostly eat other animals as their food so amoeba eats small protozoans as well as algae as their food wherever they could sense the presence of the protozoans and algae they take out the pseudopodia the pseudopodia comes and encircles the food particle while the pseudopodia encircles the food particle it forms the food vacuole where the food particle is entrapped slowly and steadily the membrane of pseudopodia gets dissolved the food vacuole is pushed inside the surface of amoeba and the membrane is restored to its normal shape now in the food vacuole the lysosomes present in the cytoplasm come gets attached to it and they start releasing digestive enzymes into the cyto in the food vacuole the digestive enzymes would break down the complexer food substances that is they would break down those protozoans and smaller algae into simpler food that is absorbed up by the amoeba and is taken up by it so thus the food is taken up gets absorbed gets assimilated and it is circulated by the contractile vacuole to all the amoebian parts the waste material or the undigested food which is left over in the amoeba is then approached to the cell membrane via the same food vacuole the cell membrane open up throws the undigested food material out of the body and that process is called as egestion this is how the amoeba had performed digestion and that all process of entrapment of food particle engulfment of food particle was called as phagocytosis similarly we have another unicellular organisms which is also important but less important than amoeba that is paramecium paramecium is a unicellular protist it comes in the category of protista so it is a unicellular protist it lives in the fresh water it has definite shape unlike amoeba now this is the difference it has from amoeba that as amoeba kept on changing its shape due to the coming out of pseudopodia from anywhere of its body surface this paramecium has a definite shape it does not keep on changing shape like amoeba it ingests the food from a specific point from a specific point the food is taken up by the paramecium its body is covered with small hair like structure called cilia that creates water current or helps in its movement this is also living in fresh water only so how is it moving it is moving with small hair like structure which are called cilia present on its body surface as it is having a definite shape it does not have pseudopodia so the cilia present on its body surface help in locomotion while the digestion will occur from a specific point on its body now how does this process of digestion takes place water current containing food is headed towards digestion that is ingested now now as this uh, organism is floating inside the water the water current that approaches towards it will bring its food and help taking in by its body surface we can see that this is an oral groove which is formed so the water current will approach from here the food will enter the paramecium through this oral groove and after entering it will form a food vacuole here so as the food particle enters the body of the paramecium it will enter along with that 
water which will strike here the flow of water will come like this it will strike at this surface the food particle with that same current will enter inside the paramecium through this oral groove and will go down and form the food vacuole so the food particles are ingested by the food vacuole the food vacuole takes up the particles from the oral groove and forms a proper food vacuole ingestion is occurred in how did this ingestion occur ingestion occurred with the help of the water current that had strike the surface of paramecium and the food particle entered the paramecium through oral groove from the oral groove the food vacuole took the food particle and got it entrapped that is the process of digestion and after the food vacuole digested the food particle it was assimilated and was given to the vacuoles present in the paramecium so this was the assimilation why the undigested food material that was again here we can see another structure anal pore the undigested food material was given to this anal pore and the food that is ingested and ingested it is occurring through the same point that is the anal pore which is formed it will also help throwing the food uh, waste particle from this groove outside the surface of paramecium so on the other hand a while this digestion process in paramecium is taking place the cilia will keep on doing its functioning it will keep on helping the paramecium to move the contractile vacuoles will also support its movement on the other hand the food vacuole which was formed helped in digestion absorption assimilation and finally the ejection the undigested food material was present in the anal pore and from this surface of paramecium only the food will be thrown out so unlike amoeba it won't change its shape the ejection and ingestion would occur through the same point through soaps through uh, by the same point through the same surface it won't change like as it was changing in amoeba and the locomotion is done by a separate uh, structure that is cilia which is hair like present on all uh, throughout its body and thus with the help of cilia the body uh, the food is thrown out Uh, with the help of uh, this grooves the food is thrown out from the paramecium so what was the source of food of paramecium the water current that will only bring the food and with the flow of water only it will strike and enter the paramecium via that oral groove it's a very simple process that occurs in this paramecium apart from amoeba and paramecium mostly unicellular organisms perform digestion through their general body surface only by the process of diffusion diffusion is a very common process that helps these lower organisms to perform the functions of ingestion digestion and ejection and all the material is digested and then as well as thrown out of the paramecium's body any doubt with respect to nutrition in lower animals nutrition in amoeba paramecium amoeba is very important paramecium may or may not be asked but amoeba is really very important from the exam point of view so please prepare it well so this was all about nutrition in plants and nutrition in lower organisms further the next course will i will put up on nutrition in humans that will include the very details of human digestion please stay tuned for the next coming lecture